Hello and welcome back to another episode of Enzo Talks Android. Today we're going to be taking a look at voice commands and they are built in to Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 and most Android operating systems do come with the feature and it's simple tap the icon note to self remember to record another episode of ETA and then it types it out remember to record another episode of ETA you hit send and that will show up in my email not so simple you're walking around you have an idea you want to keep giving yourself a quick note tap it speak it it gets sent to your email real simple but you saw what I had to do I had to tap the microphone speak say a specific command which was note to self and then tap the send button by default send it to my own email address and that's great but there has to be another way and recently listening to another podcast attack of the androids and reading on uh, a new the a new domain, uh, another app came up into my attention called Vocanote and it's voice notes to yourself. Same thing as I just showed you using the voice commands, but this is an app that does it for you. Now here it is. I already have it set up and it's configurable. I tap it and as soon as I tap it, it starts recording. And as soon as I stop speaking for over three seconds, it knows I'm done talking, and it will just send it to my email. As such, remember to record another episode of ETA. And there it is. Remember to record another episode of ETA. And it's sending it to my email. Done. Now I could tap it, record another note, or just, just back out of it, and it's done. Okay, let's take a look at my email next, and we'll just see how it looks like from the other end. Okay, I'm back at the computer now. It'll be a little bit easier for you to see. So I go ahead and look at my email, and there I have it, the both notes that I left for myself. One is from me, that's the one I left using Google's voice commands and there it is remember to record another episode of the ETA and I can also download it and play it back and then the one by Vocanote it's from Vocanote so it goes through their server so it takes a few extra seconds to get to my inbox I could change that option and have it from myself to myself but I would have to enter my Gmail credentials into the app and right now I'm not comfortable doing that but otherwise I actually find this easier to set up a filter and organize my email and there you have it remember to record another episode of ETA and I can open it up download it listen to it and there you have it two apps that do the same thing one is built into the operating system using a voice command or you can do a voice search but one of the key phrases you have to remember to use is note to self and that triggers this event whereas in Vocanote as soon as you open the app it starts recording instantly obviously you could change that option if you want but I like it to be simple and efficient and I think that's the best way to do it so I was a doubter at first, but I believe it. And there you have it. Another episode of ETA. Talk to you next time.